Hello, my name is Kark82, and welcome back to my Correct Tech New Horizon series. I am just crafting up a couple transformers here, or I thought I was. What happened to those cables? Oh, I must have used them for um, the machine hole. That's probably what it was. Yeah, I crafted two machine holes, so I probably used those cables. Um, Crafting the ZPM uh, to LUV uh, transformers, so we can go ahead and craft up a kind of like a power line. Now I have, I'm smelting up a bunch in the water here for the cables. Now, unfortunately, if we look at the cables, the Nakwata wires only do 2 amps, which kind of sucks because the uh, the HSS ones use do 4 for 1, so they can only carry 2 amps. Um, but Nakwata is like easy to get, it's just uh, kind of like right at this moment, just kind of with um, a temporary kind of setup here for power. Um, I can't be smelting a whole lot of Nakwata. So I think uh, just kind of for now we'll do the, uh, what was it, 171, no, 172. How much is ZPM? 131. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just do the regular cables, I think, and then I can upgrade it if I need 4 amps. Uh, in the future, that's a pretty simple kind of fix. But anyway, so there is those. Now I think I should have a few. Yeah, let me at least turn these into. Okay. I guess I could turn this into. Yeah, I did. I saved that one, didn't I? I guess we'll make a recipe for this, uh, since this is going to be the next cables that we need. This does, yeah, that does work. Uh, so, Nakwada. And then, one of those. Come on. There we go. Right, one of those will get us the cables. All right, easy enough. Um, although, no, I think I do have, yeah, I have plenty of, well, not plenty. I have four left for that, and I think, three left for that one so yeah we're good all right so uh, see if that works now i gotta be careful with this because these look so similar naquata naquata alloy yeah all right but let's uh head over to uh, the new base Uh, let's see what we can do here. So I think yeah, I may want to upgrade this wires actually. Now that I'm thinking about that, um, this is kind of weird. kind of set up here, but
All right. So, yeah, what I'm thinking is, or I'm probably going to have to upgrade these. Because this is going to pull four amps of LUV. Uh, which is fine, but if it pulls four amps of LUV at the same time it's pulling one amp over here, these cables will burn up. So yeah, I'm going to have to replace this, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so step up. Is that the output? That is the output. Yeah, that's right. I want the output there, and then that will be there. So we'll, one, two, three, four. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, about twenty. Well, not about twenty, exactly twenty. All right, so I got to do that now. Why don't we just kind of lay this down? Ooh, I got to figure out a new color for these line two. I'm thinking, oops, oops. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking, um, I have cabling running in between these, like I have HSS, and I'm thinking I'm going to actually break that like this. I'm actually, I think I'm going to get rid of this and then run it uh, to, to like out here and then have a transformer kind of in there. I think I'm going to do that with everything moving forward. Um, kind of just branching everything off. Because um, obviously the, kind of like the pathway or the road or whatever you want to call it, is going to be running in between every building. Um, so I think that is kind of what I'm going to do. Yeah. All right. So let me go ahead and get some of this stuff crafted up. I'm going to need HSS wires because I want to get this. I need... A whole lot of uh, Nakwada cable. Um, but I get two per ingot, so it's not like not that bad. Now, the other end, I guess, would be over here, wouldn't it? Um, I think we'll just do like this will be the main line. Maybe just uh, put it like here, maybe? Now this is going to be, this will be a step down. So yeah, input there and then the output. I think that's how I'm going to do it. And then we'll just have the the line just down the middle and then branching off to each building that I need. Uh, I think that's kind of cool. I don't know. I kind of like that. Uh, organized. Um, it's the same for like every building kind of thing. So it's not, you don't have kind of cables running all over the place now. I did build one underneath here. I can't remember. Is it under this? It may be one of these things. Um, but maybe looking back, I should have kind of... I don't know. Maybe run it down like... Down this path that I haven't built yet. Because I'll have a path running down here as well. So maybe I'll send it down there and then go in kind of there. I don't know. Uh, let me get some stuff crafted up and uh, we'll come back. All right, we are back and uh, pretty much got all this side done, I think. So, is that, uh... yeah, so connect that up, no explosions, always good. Um, I decided to do orange. Uh, for this tier, so that'll be that. Now, 
I'm pretty happy with that, I think. I have... I deleted all the cabling running over there, so we will just kind of do it on this side, I think. Um, let's do, I guess... I can never remember which... Yeah, so that way. No, I can't get in. <laughs> And HSS G cable. Make sure I write the right one. I guess we'll just kind of attach it like that. All right, so I think I'm pretty happy with that. There we go. Yep, so that should be hooked up. Uh, and should work now. The only issue, well, I'm sure there's more than one issue, but uh, I am kind of thinking or realizing that I only have one amp going down here. So if this is pulling too much, they might be fighting over that. Like running one amp is never usually a the best idea. Um. Because they like kind of fight over Put that there, I guess. Um, yeah, they'll kind of like fight over the one amp, and then if something isn't getting enough, it'll shut off. And then you if, obviously, if it's like a multi block and stuff, you lose um, you lose the uh, items that you're you're doing. But uh, I don't know. Well, I'm I have a feeling I probably will upgrade this. <laughs> relatively quickly but uh, i want to get all the that stuff over the um um the blast smelter i want to get that stuff kind of brought over and then i'll kind of maybe worry about smelting up large amounts of metals um yeah okay so anyway that is kind of i think a pretty decent layout here um, I like having a central power gen. I know uh, another way to play is having your power gen kind of spread out through different things. Like each one would have like a different little power gen. Um, but I like having everything uh, fed all my power gen into one central location, and then I send everything out from there. But uh. Yeah, that's just kind of like the way I like to play. Um, it helps with, if you're not producing enough power, you can run machines at a higher voltage than you're producing. Whereas if you were kind of producing the power at location, like if I was sending the fuel around and in like pipes and then to the different rooms and kind of like doing gens in each room, like... Uh, I wouldn't be able to run the machines for higher voltage. So that is one way. And uh, I've heard different things about that. That's kind of like cheating. You should have higher power gen if you want to run a ZPM, but uh, I don't know. That's just the way I like to do things. Um, but anyway, let me uh, go ahead and get some more Nequatic cable here. And I think I need yeah, I'm going to need another uh, transformer as well. I'm going to need a few transformers in this room. I haven't quite figured out how this is going to work. But uh, yeah, let me cut here and we will come back. All right, and just a kind of quick update. I decided to upgrade my uh, the transformer. Might as well just do it right now, kind of get ready for this. Um, so I upgraded to the 16 up one, and it was actually really easy. Uh, we look at the recipe. Where are we? Uh, ZPM to LEV, four amps. You just add some vanadium, gallium, and nicotta, and a couple uh, tungsten steel coil blocks. And you get the one that outputs 16 amps, or the other way around. So this can input 16 amps, uh, which is what's being output by this thing, and turns it into four uh, CPM. And I upgraded that to 
uh, two times Naquata. I didn't upgrade the entire line. I just went to here where it splits. Um, so there's two amps going that way, two amps going that way. Um, but I will have to upgrade that when I add more uh, transformers. But right now, uh, we just have the two over here. Uh, so there's that one and then the one over there. And they can only accept one amp. So I think we should be good. We shouldn't have any more than uh, like two amps go down these lines. But uh, yeah. All right. So I think for now, I think um, I'm going to move over the Blast Furnace. But I will do that uh, in between episodes because I kind of got to figure out... Uh, what I'm doing about the liquids and stuff and the uh, the gases. I mean, gas, these are gases, these are liquids. So I got to kind of figure out what I'm doing with that because obviously I won't have uh, that stuff over in the, uh, the new base yet. But uh, I figured uh, one thing I need to, well, there's a few things that we're working kind of towards. One is all of the different CPM circuits. So I need to get the, that work if I do that way? I can't remember. Yeah, so I need to get all the different components and I just haven't got around to doing that yet because it just takes a little while. Um, uh, so I need to do the conveyor and the ZPM actually. That's right, I did, uh, I started doing it. I crafted up uh, the, yeah, I got, I was getting ready for that, but I, I haven't finished. So many things I'm trying to do at once here. Um, so this is the conveyor belt, I believe, which, yeah, just two motors. The quad alley, which is I make all this stuff and the name. That's actually really easy, except for the styrene. That is a whole lot of styrene. I forget how much I have. 6,000, so I can do two of those. Actually, I just have enough uh, to make uh, the assembler. But anyway, um, one of the things I want to kind of work towards here is the uh, next line of circuits. So, um, I want to take a look at those. So the crystal line, we started a few episodes ago. Um, we put it on the, uh, the asteroid to see if we can get the crystal chips. Now I do need an upgraded circuit assembler, which I don't have yet. Yeah, so I need a upgraded circuit assembler. I gotta figure out what I'm doing with this clean room as well. Man, getting this moved over to the new base, that is a bit scary. Yeah, so obviously it's gonna be LUV in the new base. Do I need, polarizer doesn't need to be in here. Assembly machine doesn't have to be in, the chemical reactor doesn't have to be in here. Basically the only two things I need in here or the cutting machine and the circuit assembly machine, I think. Uh, because the precision laser engraver, I have the multi-block for that. Um, I could do a multi-block for the cutting machine, but the circuit assembly machine, there is no multi-block for it. So. so question is, should I go ahead and, uh, well, why don't I fly to the asteroid and see if we got some of those crystal chips first. So let me go uh, hop over there and uh, we'll be back. All right, uh, we are on Mars. I think I, I can't remember how many I put in. I think I put about 13 or 14 uh, emeralds and we looks like we got one raw crystal chip out of that. But I think, uh, I think that's good. I think we can like I don't know how it works, but I think we can, like, not dupe it. I mean, it's an actual, like, dupe, but, like, I think we're good. Um, that. All right. So there is that. I'm just going to leave this here just in case we need to come back here. And uh, let's meet back in the uh, base. All right. Uh, we are back, and I'm just taking off the uh, 
the solar panel. I could probably leave it on there, but I'll take it off just in case I need it again. All right. So uh, we did complete a quest. Is it where? It... Oh, right here. Man, that one's 64 exquisite. And some of these things are just too much. <laughs> like, I would have to clear out a whole vein. Or actually, I think we can. Now that I think about it, can we actually. No, I'm not getting eight cells of Europium, but it's a bit annoying because the quest does give us some decent stuff. All right, so, but it basically wants, we have the raw crystal chip and then we turn it into an emerald or uh, an engraved crystal chip. Let's grab an emerald plate at least. I think I can actually turn these into flawless. I think. Let's get the uh, the one. I should. I don't know if I'm gonna need. No, I'll probably need this recipe, won't I? Might as well set it while I'm here because I am going to be doing this. I th think. Yeah, because I'm gonna have to crafting these every time I need it. Yeah, that's right. All right, so that to that. I don't know if I have enough room for it though. Did I add a? I have no idea where that is. The recipe. Did I add another compressor that I've totally forgot about somewhere? I feel like I did. Here it is. Right, I did add an actual one. All right. That was a while ago, though. All right, so that. And then the cutting machine. Wow, that was quick. And that's, there we go. I should probably get some more patterns while we're here. And look at all the patterns I've done, but I'm not, don't actually have in the thing. Uh, cutting. Oh, I do have room. Nice. All right, so then it wants the engraved crystal chip, which is not a problem. There we go, that takes one second. Shoot, I probably should have done that. Recipe. Oh well. Um. Wait, that gets nine? This recipe does nine? Okay, is that... I feel like that's a bug. Was that some crazy right like that's only supposed to do one right and that did nine all right i think that is a bit of a bug let's test that really quick uh raw crystal emerald Yeah, let's test that. Might as well make a recipe while I'm here as well. This should be only one, I'm assuming. All right, so unless I somehow got more of those, maybe I, I might have gotten a uh, a chest or a, I might have gotten that from like a loot bag now that I'm thinking about it. No, there's only one. I must have gotten those from a loot bag at some point. All right, so let me delete that. Yeah. All right, I must have gotten eight from a thing sometime uh, before, but I just wanted to test that because that seemed a little crazy. All right. 
So there is that. I guess we can throw it on that one. I guess it's kind of similar. All right. So now we need the crystal processing. That was like a weird, yeah. Precision laser engraver, we need LUV. Don't think we have it upgraded to LUV, do we? The emerald. Do I have an emerald one in here anywhere? I don't think it's that one, is it? No, I think it's in the um, Emerald era. Yeah, Emerald. We might be able to add one more to this, but I don't think it's set up for LUV. Oh, it's set up for EV. Holy cow. Um, all right. Let me, um, I guess we'll have to get an LUV one here. Not ideal, because the LUV energy hatches it. Well, actually, I have a whole bunch of extra Osmeridium that, for some reason, I didn't realize. Yeah, look at this. I already have, like, everything. Uh, the only thing I need is some Vanadium and Aquata. All right, let me uh, upgrade this and we'll get these crystal chips. All right, uh, just finished. LUV energy hatch. I absolutely love having those being auto craftable. It's so much fun. Uh, the only thing I have is a couple fluids I have to do manually, but uh, that's easy enough. Uh, where am I? Turn around here. All right, let's uh, go ahead and upgrade this. So that's a pretty sizable jump from EV to LUV. Hopefully no explosions. <laughs> I didn't think there would be. This one is pretty tame. All right, so there we go. That is the LUV uh, processing factory. I wonder if I need to hit it. I may need to hit it. Oh, no. Sometimes it breaks and sometimes it doesn't. I still haven't quite figured out. Uh, what causes that? Um, all right, so we need the emerald. I think it's in this chest. Yeah. Uh, let's just, I guess we can throw it in here for now. And uh, right, this is, yeah. These, I don't want to turn these all into, oh, is there only, all right, what do the environmental circuits do? Ah, that's for Gendistry. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we can, like, we're, got that far with Gendistry. All right, so I guess, I guess we can just turn these all into, no, maybe not. Oh, I think it's the raw crystal chips that I'm thinking of. Yeah. All right, so let's just turn these all in. Nope, not that. I don't think there's any other use for those. So there is the crystal chips. And I 
think, yeah. That completed that quest. Now, I did... I just manually completed that, because I just don't care about that. <laughs> That's just a lot of work for no reason. Um, so we got the raw crystal chip, which is what we wanted. Um, if I hadn't gotten it from the other ones I put in, the 16, whatever, originally, um, I maybe would have done that, but there we go. So there's that. Now I'm definitely going to take these raw crystal chip parts. Um, yeah. Because I believe we can use these instead of doing that 10% crap with the molten or the europium in on like. Yeah. So here we go. So molten europium with these in an autoclave will get us 100%. Yeah, for sure. All right. That's definitely what I want. So we actually have europium in the. Actually, don't I have the autoclave? Yeah. Why don't we just go ahead and drop this? I'll throw some europium in it, and then we can get some more of these chips. Now I'm probably gonna. Um, well, that's not what I wanted to do, but uh, I will probably have this set up. Um, see, the problem with these, these uh. I don't know how many I need. Um, the problem with these quests is like using an item you get from another item, like a loop, uh, causes issues with uh, AE. Like I could set this raw crystal chip to get these, but then I use these to get this. Like it causes problems. Um, I mean, I can try to set something up, but I, from past experience, I'm pretty sure that uh that won't work a recipe kind of like that like a a, a duping kind of recipe i mean it's totally normal it's like legal or whatever but or not legal it's it's intended it's like an intended dupe because we are adding europium to it so i mean this is not like just a free dupe but uh it basically kind of acts like a dupe um Let's add this europium back. And it only uses a very small amount as well, so that is pretty cool. Um, yeah. 600 seconds is probably 125, 300. Yeah, it's half. What am I talking about? So, yeah, we'll just kind of let that go, and then we will get a 100% uh, outcome here. So, uh, I mean, you can use the other ones, but these are so annoying to get, the original ones. And then this gives us nine. So, I mean, you can dupe these pretty fast here. So I actually am pretty happy with this. But like this, to a 10%, needs low gravity and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, no thanks. All right, so we're pretty much good here, I think. I don't, um, I should maybe have... You know what, I'm going to set one of these to the side uh, just in case I accidentally use those all up and I don't have any more ways to get the raw crystal chip parts. And I did the same with the Null Catalyst so I don't accidentally use up all the Null Catalyst for the Nether Stars. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. The next part of the circuits, I need to get the LUV circuit assembler so that I will probably craft up um in between episodes Ugh, unfortunately i haven't set that to the steve's factory manager yet so yeah this is going to take me some time uh to get this um set up now i think there is a way for me to copy these when i move this because i am going to be very sad if that is there's no way to of these yeah i think it's this manager duplicator thing uh but we'll look into that uh at a later date anyway that's gonna be it for today so thanks for watching and have a good one